Today we're going to review part number LM67048. This is the True Ride trailer wheel bearing. This is an outer wheel bearing. And most replacement wheel bearings are high quality tapered roller bearings designed for high speed use. All bearings will have an industry standard number stamped on them regardless of the brand. To get the correct bearing for your trailer, if you look on the inner ring, usually right there would be listed the part number. In this case, for this one would be LM67048. Now yours might have a different number depending on the brand you have. What you need to do is just get the part number, give it to us, and we'll be able to cross-reference it to the correct bearing you would need. If you don't have the bearing number, the other thing you would have to do would be to measure the inner diameter. That's the critical measurement of the bearing that fits on the spindle. And what you need to use would be a digital caliper to get a correct measurement because it is measured in thousandths of an inch. So a ruler or a tape measure wouldn't work. So in this case, if we measure the inner diameter of this bearing, it would measure 1.250. Now these bearings are or will consist of three pieces. It will basically have the inner ring or the cone, which is this part right here, slides onto the spindle. It will be the tapered rollers right here. And then the rollers are held together with the cage or the roller retainer, which is the outer part right here. And the lubrication on a wheel bearing is mainly wheel bearing grease, sometimes would be oil. Now there is one other piece that is required and that is the bearing race. And that is the part that would be pressed into the trailer hub that the bearing would sit into and rotate on. Now the bearing race is sold separately. For this one would be part number LM67010. And the critical measurement on that bearing race would be the outer diameter, which for that one would be 2.328 inches. And that should do it for a review on part number LM67048.